Wanyagi, bonjour. bonjour. Today I prepare something very special for you, yes. and I'm not an expert on Japanese wine. To Me neither. I never had any <laughs> Japanese wine. To be honest, I never tried either. Really? Yeah. I had a great edu education about sake, but wine. Yeah. I even when I, I went to Japan five times, I've never seen in the restaurant. I don't remember seeing wine, Japanese wine, lots of sake. But a beautiful wine culture in Japan. Ah. So culture in Japan start around like 1950, 1960. They try to develop their uh, agriculture on Japanese winery. Two beautiful Japanese wine, Saint Neige, and oh. then Solaris. The, la uh, the label is really beautiful. So I went on their website. They introduced everything about the winery. So the winery uh, started in uh, 1962. Oh, wow. And they start making wine around like 1970 something. Nagano, which was really famous for uh, Olympic game. So one, two, three. Happiness. Happiness. Have you been to Mount Fuji? I have never been to Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just the southern part of Japan. So this, we are just right up north to the Mount Fuji. So both wine will be probably toward to minerality, okay. very close to mountain. So Mont Fuji and this wine, which is really fantastic, has no information at all on the website. They don't have a, they don't have a website? No website. The only website I found was like Russian explanation, whatever. Really? <laughs> so what I know is the area is northern part of Fuji mountain, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, but the alcohol is only 13%. Yeah, right. This is climate, I think, very close to mountains. So we are we are like similar, probably like Argentina or Chile. Mm -hmm. One thing I just noticed is like on both course uh, cork, there is the diam. This course can't be corked. Oh really? Yeah. So if anyone has a diam cork, that guarantee that the wine won't be corked at all. They are like a special treatment. Is certification, so that means it's very high quality of cork. Impossible to be happiness corked. This cork is so small. Very, very this is small. the smallest cork I've ever seen. <laughs> That's why I couldn't say happiness, it just came out like this. I don't know, maybe this winery has not much budget. They put only 295 bottles. Maybe it's just one person. It's less than 300 bottles. We have a uh, this dark Bordeaux rose color. Yeah, I can see my finger very well. So it's like close to Pinot Noir color. Cheers. Cheers. It smells really good. Oh, aromatic, but quite, quite, quite uh, intense in alcohol for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Italia wine. Italia. Okay. Red wine fragrance. Wine okay. Do you feel uh, any oak touch? Yes. Okay. New oak or old oak? I don't know the difference. So the difference between new oak and old oak, like uh, like three to five years new oak, will be like more fresh wood, intense of like almond and vanilla, fresh vanilla. Okay. Old oak will be more on like caramelized, on nutty, on cigar and tobacco ah. type of uh, oak. So this is old oak. I see, I feel cigar and... Uh, <laughs> No, it's this new is oak. a yeah, kind of French European new oak. I, I'd like to say like French new oak, very like uh, simple. There's quite a bit of flavor yeah. at the end, surprisingly much. At the end, I have a lot of um, acidity on my middle part of my tongue. Yes, I like that feeling. I have the, the, the tannin but there is no fruit fragrance in my mouth. I don't bite into a juicy fruit. No. It's very light. The attack is very soft. Very, very. It's and at the end, I have this acidity coming from nowhere with the tannin. Like yeah. a, After you swallow here, the wine, yeah. the acidity comes it's out. Ping, I'm here. This is wow. super interesting. After we... Yeah. What color, same. Very same. brownish color. Yeah, a little stronger, a little... So now we are on 100% of Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, similar. Intensity is surprisingly similar, yeah. 
What's going on here? Yeah, not really the color. If you compare both here, it's very similar color. If we talk about the concentration of the intensity, is a little bit more intense for this, just in the but middle part. This is a Euro European grapes adaptation in a Japanese country, in another like a terroir. Okay. So this volcanic soil, very close to Fuji Mountain and Asama Mountain. So we are on the Piemonte, like the, the, the foot of the mountain. So probably the soil is not that rich. Oh, key on the nose. And high in I'm alcohol. looking for it. Yeah. Maybe plum. Plum. We call in France pruneau, which is pruneau, a yeah. dry, dry plum. Yeah. Like a dark caramelized balsamic flavor yeah, that's yeah. coming. Why? When you serve fast, it's, there is the tint of like, you know, light Coca Cola. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It turns black almost. Turns black, yeah. Smell, 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 smell. It's very Japanese. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon, the yeah. American one, they're not shy. Yeah, they're like, well, very American. What, what but this, this one, one? This Cabernet Sauvignon is very Japanese. It's like, see me, say. Yeah, there is a lot of things. Very like, shy. I'm here, shy, and I respect you. Yeah, take your time. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, it doesn't taste like Cabernet Sauvignon at all. It's very watery, weak in aroma, intensity, sweetness, uh, acidity, and tannin. Yeah, and at the, end, at the end, this Cabernet Sauvignon, if you want to buy, buy a Cabernet Sauvignon, you're expecting tannin, power, fruit, yeah. and sweetness, exactly. and alcohol together. This, yeah. this you don't get. As a blind tasting, you tell me it's Cabernet Sauvignon, I'll say no. I don't think so. No. It remind me when I was seven, eight years old, Grandpa, Grandpa, I want to drink wine. Give me wine. It was like 85% of water and 15% of wine. That remind me the taste of this wine now. <laughs> like very, very soft. And even this, yeah. you bring a beautiful tomahawk. I don't think it's going to change anything. No, you, the... you can't pair this with meat. Actually, I think maybe just a little salad. Or... It's the first time in my life I drank a bottle of wine out of 295. Merci. And the name is French name. So look what's going on on this label. Probably the main study in France. The name is Sainte Neige, means the holy snow. snow. Holy and snow. then you have a very small product. So remember, Guillaume, whenever there is a river stream, there's a wine around. So if you want to build a vineyard in Seoul, Hangan. <laughs> Hangan? Oh, yeah, you need, expensive. You need, yeah. Oh, by the way, expensive, but it's going to be Chateau Guillaume, Chateau, Chateau, Guillaume. Chateau Wine Yagi. <laughs> but over there, the best spot to build probably a wine will be in South Korea, will be uh, Chidisan Mountain, because very clean water from the mountain and then the, the sturgeon, they make caviar, so that means water might be super pure. Yeah. And Hangan. Hangan. Hangan, you, you, you put everyone out, Chardonnay, <laughs> Chardonnay. Ch Chenin Blanc, Sauvignon, and then let's go. Let's go. <laughs> As a wine lover, mm -hmm. we've had Merlot from several different countries, but yeah. you never really quite had Merlot like this one. What's different and why should somebody look for this wine specifically if they want a, a Japanese Merlot? My opinion, so the person who wants to have a tasting of like, let's say, every Merlot all around the world, you must try this one because we have our strong knowledge from the wine we know mostly, France, Spain, Italy, yeah. so power, power. And I really want people to try this kind of Merlot to feel like, okay, how terroir is important, how knowledge is important, and open your mind. Yeah. This is Japanese, this is Japanese identity, and this is for us today, the first time to try this kind of experience. Yeah. Mona Lisa, Japanese yeah. Mona Lisa, and a good Merlot. Exactly. Anyway. So, so Yanis, yeah. if you were to buy again, let's, let's assume they're both $50. Okay. Which one do you pick? Hana, the set. Me too. That's it, yeah. yeah. I would give this one again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. See you next time. See you next week. Bye.